This is module 3, Arithmetic Means, Nth Term, and Sum of Arithmetic Sequence. So, let's jump right in. Target Skills or Objectives Pre-test muna. A few minutes later. To start this module, we will talk about the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Let's recall first kung ano yung napag-usapan natin in our previous module. Given an arithmetic sequence with the first term a sub 1 and the common difference d, the nth term is given by the equation a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So let's get to know more about this nth term or ano pa ang mga function nito sa arithmetic sequence. Let's consider example number 1. Find the 27th term of the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. Meaning to say, ito yung given natin na mahahanap sa ating arithmetic sequence. A sub 1 is 5, and the common difference is 3. Since 8 minus 5 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3, and so on and so forth by subtracting succeeding terms. What we are looking for is the A sub 27, or yung 27th term. Let's see the solution. Using the general rule, A sub n equals A sub 1, plus n minus 1 times d, let's substitute the given. We are looking for the a sub 27, so our m is also 27. Our a sub 1 is 5, our d is 3. Let's simplify. 27 minus 1 is 26, times 3 is 78, plus 5 is 83. That gives us the 27th term of the arithmetic sequence, which is 83. Now, let's proceed to example number 2. Determine the 40th term of an arithmetic sequence in which a sub 8 equals 60 and a sub 12 is 48. In this example, ang hinahanap natin ay ang a sub 40 pero minigyan lang tayo ng dalawang terms na mahahanap sa arithmetic sequence yung 8th term at yung 12th term. Let's find the first term and the common difference kasi sila yung mga kakailanganin natin para makumpleto ang problem using the general rule. For our solution, use the general form to find a sub 1 and d first. Let's see for a sub 8. Yung a sub 8 natin is 8 yung n which is 60, yung 8th term. So, observe na meron tayong equation 1 kung saan walang value yung a sub 1 at walang value yung d. So, 60 equals a sub 1 plus 7d will be our equation 1. So, let's set aside this equation. Let's consider a sub 12 which is 48. Same using the general form, we substitute n by 12 in our a sub 12, which is 48. And by simplifying, 48 equals a sub 1 plus 11d is our equation 2. So using our general form in the given a sub 8 and a sub 12, we were able to get equations 1 and 2. So anong gagawin natin sa equations 1 and 2? Let's use and recall the process of solving linear equations in two variables. Natandaan ba yung elimination? Let's try to subtract equation 1 by equation 2. Yung equation 1 natin ay 60 equals a sub 1 plus 7d at yung equation 2 natin ay 48 equals a sub 1 plus 11d. By subtraction ng bawat term, 60 minus 48 is 12. a sub 1 minus a sub 1 is 0. And 7d minus 11d is negative 4d. And because of the linear equation, 
we can divide both sides by negative 4 to obtain negative 3 as the value of D. And that is our common difference. Now, let's proceed with substitution. We will use equation 1 and yung nakuha natin common difference na negative 3. By substitution, yung d ay negative 3 multiplied by 7 is negative 21. Transpose, magiging positive 21. Add, makukuha natin 81, which is our first term. So dito, ang goal natin ay hanapin muna ang first term at ang common difference Kasi sila yung maging importante na gagamitin natin sa general equation ng arithmetic sequence para mahanap ang nth term. Muli, ang recall natin ay solving linear equations in two variables. To continue the solution, nakuha natin earlier yung value ng d or common difference na negative 3 at ng a sub 1 na 81. Use again the general form to solve for the 40th term. Again, yung general form ng arithmetic sequence ay a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. By substitution of the given, n is 40, a sub 1 is 81, and the common difference is negative 3. By simplifying, 40 minus 1 is 39, times negative 3 is negative 117, 81 minus 117 is negative 36. Therefore, the 40th term is negative 36. That gives us the complete solution for our example 2, finding the nth term using the general term. Now, you try this. And now, to continue our discussion for module 3, let's talk about some of the terms of arithmetic sequence. The sum of an arithmetic sequence, also called arithmetic series, is obtained by adding all the terms in the given sequence. Tandaan, adding all the terms. Example, ito yung ating arithmetic sequence, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on and so forth to the nth term. Para siya maging arithmetic series, or makuha yung sum of the terms, we are simply adding all of the terms. That gives us the arithmetic series or the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Pero may gagamitin tayong formula sa iba-ibang mga conditions or situations ng mga problems related to arithmetic series. We have S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Or S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So let's get to know more about the symbols. S is the sum of terms. Again, n is our number of terms. a sub 1 is our first term. a sub n is our last term. And of course, your d is your common difference. Ano ba yung maging difference ng dalawang formula? How to use them? to obtain the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Let's try example number 1. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence 9, 15, 21, 27, and so on and so forth using two different formulas. Sa problem na ito, pinapahanap sa atin yung total or yung sum ng mga terms or nung first 20 terms ng given arithmetic sequence. So it's either ubusin natin yung mga 20 terms na i-add or gamitan natin sila ng formula. Let's look at the given. Yung first term natin ay 9. Yung number of terms natin ay 20. At yung common difference natin ay 6. Using the solution for the common difference. Let's consider solution A using the first formula. Yung first formula natin ay S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. By substitution, we will see na ang n natin or yung number of terms ay 20, while yung first term natin is 9. Ano ba yung 20th term natin? That's a question mark. 
So meaning to say, kailangan muna natin isolve yung a sub 20 to proceed with this formula. Solve for a sub 20 using the general form. Now, babalikan natin ang a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. By using the given, n is 20, d is 6, a sub 1 is 9, we can obtain 20 minus 1 is 19, times 6 is 114, plus 9 is 123. That gives us a sub 20. Now, we can proceed with the computation. We will start with the parentheses by PEMDAS rule. 9 plus 123 is 132. Then, we will proceed with the multiplication. Numerator 20 times the whole number 132, which is 2,640. Then, by division, 2,640 divided by 2, we will get 1,320 as S sub 20. Therefore, the sum of the first 20 terms is 1,320. This is how we use the first formula in obtaining the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Now, let's consider solution B using the second formula. S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantities 2 times a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Now, using the given, let's substitute all the values. n is 20, a sub 1 is 9, d is 6. Now, by PEMDAS rule, we will start with the parenthesis. 20 minus 1 is 19. Then, 2 times 9 is 18. 19 times 6 is 114. Then, 18 plus 114 is 132. Now, we can multiply it to the numerator 20, which is 2,640. Then, lastly, division of 2, we'll get 1,320, which is our S sub 20, or the sum of the first 20 terms. Now, we were able to obtain the sum of the terms of this arithmetic sequence using the second formula. The question is, Alin sa palagay ninyo ang mas madali? Alin ang mas gusto nyong gamitin? Alin ang sa palagay ninyong mabilis gamitin or madaling gamitin para mahanap ang sum of the terms of the arithmetic sequence? You decide for yourself. Let's consider more examples for the sum of the terms of arithmetic sequence given a statement. Let's find the sum of the integers from 1 to 10. So meaning, alamin muna natin yung mga terms na mapapaloob sa ating sequence. So for our given sequence, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. These are the first 10 integers. For the given values, a sub 1 is 1. Number of terms is 10, and the common difference is 1. Using all those given value, let's use formula number 2. By substitution, we will get S sub 10 equals 10 over 2 times the quantity 2 times 1 plus the quantity 10 minus 1 times 1. By PEMDAS rule, 10 minus 1 is 9, 2 times 1 is 2, 9 times 1 is 9, 2 plus 9 is 11, and 11 times 10 is 110. Finally, 110 divided by 2 is 55. This is the sum of the integers from 1 to 10. Now, for our last example, let's find the sum of the terms of all odd numbers from 1 to 25. Let's start with the given by listing down all those numbers or those odd numbers from 1 to 25. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25. Yung listing ng mga terms ng arithmetic sequence ay optional. Pwedeng hindi ilista as long as kompleto ang values ng a sub 1, n, and common difference. 
which will be very important sa solution. So, let's use the formula number 2. By substitution, S sub 13 is equal to 13 over 2 times the quantity 2 times 1 plus the quantity 13 minus 1 times 2. And again, using the PEMDAS rule to complete our computation, 13 minus 1 is 12, 2 times 1 is 2, 12 times 2 is 24. 2 plus 24 is 26, 26 times 13 is 338, and divided it by 2, we will get S sub 13 equals 169. Therefore, the sum of odd numbers from 1 to 25 is 169. Now, it's your turn. Try this to find the sum of the terms of arithmetic sequence. Remember, you have your choice to use formula 1 or formula 2 in finding the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Practice Exercises later assessment time please answer post test and additional activities thanks for watching and learning be good be mathly good